confusion face and body. Today we're going to talk about chemical peels. So if you want to know what peel is right for you, then keep watching this. So I've been doing chemical peels for probably 20 years, probably five years on myself. I started getting them done and saw amazing results for my acne and then just continued to do them as part of an anti-aging routine. So I'm a big believer in chemical peels, but more of a low dose approach. So not shocking the skin with super strong peels, kind of doing a lower dose peel, but every single month. So I'm gonna talk about the peels that I do here at work and that I've had the most experience with and the most results with over the years. So first, why chemical peels? Chemical peels I find are amazing for um, skin texture, for brightening the skin, for tightening the skin. So lighten, brighten, tighten, um, I like them for that. Um, looking at microdermabrasion as an alternative, it's a great treatment, but I just feel like you'll get more bang for your buck doing a chemical peel and just greater results because you're not just scrubbing the surface of the skin, you're getting a lot deeper with the peels. Okay, so first I wanna talk about some of the pre-made blended peels that I use. So they come in a gel formulation um, with an aloe base. So I use anything from like a light fruit enzyme peel, like a 25% just naturally dry fruit enzymes. We also use something with a lactic and a glycolic combination, um, just a glycolic combination um, with like plant stem cells and also in the aloe base. Um, and then one that just has lactic with also plant stem cells um, grape seed extract, aloe, so they're kind of like gel-based peels that you put on, leave on for you know X amount of minutes, and then neutralize and take off. So those are great lighter peels, especially in combination with um, microdermabrasion. So those are kind of like a low-level intro peel for people that are just getting into peels that want some lightening and brightening. We also do a really nice, we just got a mandelic peel. So it's mandelic acid, salicylic, and a little bit of lactic, so that's great for um, all skin colors. It's really safe. It's in a gel base as well. And I've had really good results with that, even combining that with microdermabrasion as well. Um, but I tend to like to get into a little bit stronger peels once I start people on those. So I'm a big fan of Jesner's peels. I get them compounded from a pharmacy, um, specifically for us. So I use like a 7% formulation or a 14% formulation. A lot of times I'll start with the 7 percent and just layer it. So the Jesner's is lactic, salicylic, and resorcinol. It's great for a lot of skin types. I use it a lot in combination um, with other peels as well. So when I combine peels, I like to, you know, obviously analyze the skin and then kind of change the peel combination um, sometimes every time that the client comes in just to really see what's going to yield them the best results and then alternating active ingredients in the peels. But my favorites are um, TCA, so we get that compounded in a 10% to 12% formulation, so it's definitely a lighter formulation, and I love that for even my rosacea clients. Um, I've had really good success with that. <clears throat> so sometimes I'll do um, just straight TCA, and then Jesner's over it, or vice versa, I mix them. Um, sometimes I'll do Jesner's and then layer the aloe-based peels over it, so then they're getting some extra brightening, and then the aloe and the peptides in the second layer of the peel. Great results with that. And then I also do a lot of um, retinol peels. So I'll layer Jesner's and at the end do a retinol booster to really increase the exfoliation, um, slough off those dead skin cells faster. Some people really like to have the shedding up, visible shedding of the skin. Some people don't like that, but it's a matter of preference and some people get great results with that. So now that we're getting into fall, um, that'll be a big thing that I'll start doing again. So I've been doing peels a really long time and I've been getting peels done on myself for a really long time. So I would suggest when you start getting into peels, just make sure where you go, they know um, a lot about different options for peels, that they're just not starting out and have one or two peels. Um, so we have probably 30 different peel options here um, that we use so we can really um, target a lot of different skin colors, skin types, skin concerns, rosacea, cystic acne, dry skin acne, oily skin acne, just really everything, we have an option for that. And then we also have the option to keep continually to progress your peels stronger. So you wanna continually get results, and kind of I really like to mix the ingredients in the peels to get the best results. So <clears throat> another thing is skin of color. You really need to be careful skin of color. 
clients and what peels that you get. I've had a lot of experience. A lot of our clients are skin of color. I used to do clinical trial work in skin of color. So I know and understand that skin type really well. And you have to just be really, really cautious and really know your stuff with that. So overall, I definitely recommend chemical peels. They're my number one um, anti-aging treatment that I do here in combination with other things, but always everything I do usually includes a peel, some type of firming modality or ultrasound, oxygen, um, but always I like to do chemical peels. So everyone that comes through will get some type of chemical peel or microdermabrasion or a combination of both, but I highly recommend you try those services if you are in my area. Um, book it with me or one of my staff members and we will take care of you. Watch our other videos on other services that we do and that can educate you on what you can ask for when um, you're looking for different treatments. And I hope you like this and I will see you soon. Bye.